Looking at this carb, um, it's the same as the one I've put on the blue car. The choke actuator here, that lever, you've got to get a cable through this hole. Don't know whether you're going to see that. Somehow and connect it up to the um, obviously the carb. So what I've come up with is a solderless nipple, which will the cable will fit through there. That bolt will go in that hole. I've just got to drill this one out. I think it's about four millimeters. So uh, let's get that done. Better lay plans of mice and men. I've drilled it out to four, but <laughs> it ain't four. 4.7. Let's open that up a bit more. Well, that's it now attached. Um, I've got clearance around there and the hole in there to put my cable through. So that's uh, good to go. Let's get all this lot off then, eh? Disconnected and off. Now let's go and get the other carb on. Hmm, yeah, looking better already. Now let's see if I get it bolted down and connect it up. Can you see this little web here? That's catching on that plate I made. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, put a chamfer on this face here to clear that web. And just a little bit more. You can see where it's got a register mark there. That's where it's touching that web. Back in the vise for you. That's uh, this side connected up now, throttle cable, throttle return spring, so it's over to that side now. Servo uh, takeoff is connected up, uh, fuel line I'll just cut back, because obviously that went over to that side on the other carb, let's just cut that. All right, fuel line cut and connected, now let's get to uh, see if I can find me choke cable and put it on there. Well, should we at least see where it'll start? A couple of pumps on the throttle. That'll knock the choke off that one. Well, here we go. Ugh, can't find the key. First time. Fast ticker will serve the choke on. Now it's off. No leaks. Not a lot of things. I'll just leave it a while and uh, let it warm up. Well, it certainly runs a lot cleaner. I like it. Now this is the uh, telling one. Will it restart when warm? Sorry about the shake there. Yes it will. Nice one. Just going to cut that stud down now. And pop the bonnet down and off to Morrison's. <laughs> she starts she ticks over um, and she restarts when she's warm so that's uh, that's a win as I see many thanks to RPI engineering for their advice and setting this car up um, many thanks so uh, a few more jobs to do on the red car namely the handbrake um, when I fit the handbrake I'll have to jack the car up I'll put it on axle stands um, and check the uh, fuel level uh, gauge sender unit to see whether it's uh, working fully functional or not um, and I'll start addressing that issue. If the weather stays decent, which it looks like it might, I'm going to see if I can do some work on the blue car. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you like what you've seen, could you give us a subscribe, that'd be brilliant and uh, hit the thumbs up uh, icon and hit notifications for the next one of these uh, these farces. So, uh, Tati Bye from sunny North Wales. <laughs>